I'm not bullshitting, dude. I swear. This is bullshit. This is bullshit, but this is not bullshit. Yeah. Hold on, oh, we can rewind a little yeah. bit because we were just talking about your introduction to Deluxe and coming and being you know, part of here and, and everything that, that Jim was saying, but how Jim kind of was put on radar about you was, I believe, Joe, correct? Possibly. Joe Brook put Omar Salazar on radar for me 100%. Yeah. My guy okay, so. Oh my guy. Thank you. So, thank you. Not only, not only, I want, okay, I want to know what you said when you came in here and said, Jim, okay, look, here's a fucking deal. We got this dude. What was the trip that you're like, okay, I got to tell these fuckers okay. and like. So I was going up to Oregon a lot to uh, get sage and do patchouli <laughs> oil. And, but I was going up there a lot to shoot photos of like Matt Beach and Ethan Fowler. Those dudes were living up there. And I would just throw random people in the van, like, hey, I'm going to go. And I don't know how you got, I would take, I took Bobby Morris once. I he took, was with, Bobby was on this okay, trip with me. Okay, and the, is it when I lost my yeah, mind? Yeah, Bobby. Did I lose my mind on Bobby, this trip Bobby, Bobby, you, you did. Hey, wait, Dude, you, you fucking everything. did. Not on me. What, what is him losing his mind? I can't even imagine that. Okay. Is okay. this the end? Let's hear it. I want to okay, hear here's what, the deal. Oh, I remember. I was shooting okay. photos of I think, of I, was, my, I, think my, I might have caused... Okay, go ahead. No, no, no. This is what happened. I would take my 4x5 camera and shoot photos. and So I saw this cool flag. And I was like, dude, I want to shoot this American flag. And there was these train cars by it. And I'm shooting photos. And all of a sudden, like something lands by me. And I'm like, what the fuck was that? And then I'm like, what the hell? Is someone throwing stuff at me? And then Omar's like, Joe, watch out. And you're like Ansel Adams out there with your little hood over your head with your 4x5 camera. And I look up, and this thing hits the ground, and powder just flies in my face. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what oh the fuck God. are you guys throwing at me? You I know that wasn't I don't even know what you're throwing at me. They're throwing it off a train. It could be, <laughs> what the hell is it? I'm like, tell me what the fuck this stuff is. It's in my eyes. I couldn't see. I'm losing it. I'm putting water in my eyes. And I think I screamed at everyone. I was like, if anyone gets off the fucking train, I'm going to knock your teeth out. Everything's going great. He's taking wonderful photos of these <laughs> awesome American flags, which I don't know. You should make some. Like that. You should do some. Am I not supposed to say anything? No. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I I can't wait to see these one day because I think they'll probably be a hit. Um, going back to uh, he was shooting photos and it was me, Bobby Warris, Sorichio Nakajima. So what happened was we're on the train. I climbed up this thing. I seen some cool fucking weird chalky powder shit and I started hucking it, <laughs> not towards you. Just rat, right? Well, uh, monkey see, monkey do. Everybody starts going up there and whoop de doo. Everyone's throwing shit, right? So Riccio doesn't obviously doesn't understand a hundred percent, and he starts throwing shit. He thinks it's funny, and all of a sudden he's like, boom! I'm like, oh my gosh, what I yell, Joe, dude. I was he was tripping out. so he freaks out. He's all, what? He's like, we're looking down, and all we see is. Like, are you really, dude? What the fuck? This is fucked. You know, fuck this. You know what? <laughs> fuck all you. Fuck you guys. I'm fucking out of here. This is the fuck. I disrespect. And while he's saying that, he fucking goes in his crazy bag and he fucking just like I don't know. He just grabs. His, <laughs> let's just say this is his bag. He's like, I don't even know what the fuck this is. I'm gonna take it to a, a place. <laughs> I'm gonna take it to a place and I'm gonna find out what it is. You guys disrespecting me? This is bullshit. You guys can go home now. He took that shit. I don't know if you did. Remember I'm gonna have he took it in a bag. He took it in a bag. He took yeah. it bag. He's, gonna, in my eyes. he's gonna take it to a chemist. So to figure out what is in my eyes. Sorichio, I see. And Sorichio. And I was like, it could have been anything. Yeah. You're going down. Do you remember bagging? And I told everyone, I was like, yeah, I totally remember bagging. I was like, do not get off the train because I'm gonna kill you guys. And then I remember packing up all my camera equipment and just being so pissed. And I've never focused a board in my life physically because oh, I was mad at skateboarding. Yeah. And I took out all these guys' boards and focused. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you did. My, I didn't do nothing, dude. I, I focused everyone's boards, and then I, I was gonna send uh, Suichiro home on a bus. You told him too. Yep. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, And do you remember? So, okay. So what's a good part of that oh. story that we're getting? Well, at? <laughs> This was is what like, happened. Oh. Essentially, I would throw people in the van. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for the little segue. No, no, it's but, good. Take your time. So I would throw people in the van, and then um, we would skate this. We were skating this ditch. Remember, we skated that big, it was like a big garbage dump, and it was a big ditch. And that's kind of where I was like, oh my God, this guy's so insane and the best person ever. So 
Matt Beach, we were towing him in a van, and it was like, it's like a really big bank, and we were towing Matt Beach up it, and, but we had a little sign for him to go up, and then Omar, he, you know, he can't be bored for two seconds, and then he, I think he starts sketching on the other side of the van, because it was like a minivan with both doors that slide open. Oh, yeah. shit. Remember that? Oh, my God, I <laughs> so, think so. so. I think so. It's kind of coming so in. excited that Matt's skating this thing that he wants a piece of it, too. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so insane, because I'm like, taking a photo, and I'm like, holy shit, Omar's going to die, because when he hits the bank, there's no way. Oh. <gasps> you know what I mean? There's yeah, no yeah. way he's just going to hit the bank and splat. So he's on the van like, ah, and I'm just like, I'm like, oh my God, Omar's gonna die. And seriously, right before he goes up, he jumps into the van. Oh shit, that's right. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Jumps oh into my the van. God. I was like, yeah. nobody can do that. Only I remember this guy. that. I and remember that's when I was like, okay, this guy, <laughs> my respect just went this way. <laughs> oh, I was like, this guy. I almost rules. dying. And then I think after that, there was a huge puddle in that thing too. You were trying to carve over the huge puddle and somehow you went- Did I fall in? <laughs> oh shit, that's fell right. In the puddle. Oh, he was gosh. soaking wet and he's still stoked. He's like, woo, I like that! Having the best time of his life. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, what is this kid on? This is amazing. <laughs> and um, you were in your underwear and then I think you, <laughs> we put gas on your board to dry it and we, I have a photo. Your board was on fire and you were all into the ditch. With the board on fire? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding? Yeah, I have, a photo. I have <laughs> no proof. No photo shit. Proof. I gotta see this book. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's that's kind of how he just got thrown in the mix, and we got back from this trip, and I was like, Jim, Omar Saul uh, is no way. your guy. No way. You, yeah. you told me. You go. I got a guy for you. He fell in the puddle. He lost his pants. He skated <laughs> naked. He set his board on fire. You're gonna love him. And I'm gonna bring him on. This is, Perfect. This is your guy. I I told Omar once. He's so full throttle, like on every state trip, like the first day he would get hurt. Keep I telling like, me. I was like, okay, Omar, you need to pace yourself. <laughs> I was going to mention that too. Skate coach. Before, you know what's funny is, I was going to mention that before, but he was, he would always be like, Omar, just pace yourself. And dude, there, I, 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 there was a time where I was fucking, everything was going really good. <laughs> everything was going really fucking good because I took his advice. <laughs> but I ended up, but then I ended up using that in just fucking daily life. Regular, like, all right, take your time. You know, don't make a decision now. You don't have to do it now. <laughs> so Life guru. Yeah. You, 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 you should um, with this guy. But, but do you remember? Go ahead. Only, uh, only uh, nothing but good times. You go on the road with this guy, and it's climbing oh, that's trees, cool. jumping off stuff, skating. We had a good time. Anything. Just learn to pace yourself, man. All right. So what's going on? What were you guys talking about before? Um, well, <laughs> well we're, we were leading into Doom 6. I always have... I've had ideas um, that but I thought were, I got something, thank you. I always thought I had good ideas, but unfortunately people never do anything about it, you know? Um, I mean, from graphics to accessories and then whatever, you know, when I skated for Alien, I was always like, we should do this or we should do that. And then people would be like, yeah, that's cool, but mm, I don't know, man, I don't think, I was like, all right. A year later, somebody would do it, it fucking, does well. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, motherfuckers, remember? <laughs> um, so for me, like when all this stuff was going on, the inception, it, it was there. It was there in sure, my head. Sure, you already been thinking I about it. I already knew what it sure. was. I already knew what it was. But, but, knew, but how did the philosophy around doomsayers, like the, so right, the idea the of idea, the icon so and... During that time, all this shit was going on. Uh, I had people fucking telling me one thing and then the next thing would just be like, it was all bullshit. Someone's always, there's always gonna be someone that's gonna try to stop you or tell you you're not doing something right or whatever, but it's up to you how you change the meaning. Like what sure. does no mean in certain ways? Like if you change the meaning, you change everything. So what do I do? I change the meaning of what they told, would tell me. You're never gonna be anything. You're a fucking loser, you're this. And I'd be like, oh yeah, tell me that, tell me that. But one thing when I got hurt, I was like, nah, fuck this, I've been here before. Oh, I know. Oh, I know what everybody's thinking. Yeah. No. So I ended up starting this thing. On top of that, I had two close friends that are my buddies that love skateboarding so much that they would work at skate parks. They would work in many places, but they weren't happy or they weren't 
being taken care of and I knew that that's what they wanted to do. So how can I create something that I can do that can give back and also give them a spot to be in skating? Because they yeah. fucking see skating the way I do. So then I created Doomsayers and the Snake Shake and how that all, the, the whole thing with the Snake Shake is, it's like, you, you know, the same thing when I went to Catholic school or whatever, like, hey, so what's your whole deal? What do you want to do? Well, I'm going to do this and that. And this is what they would always do. All right. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Like, all right. That's what fueled me. Right. The course. snake shake. So whenever you have someone that's like, you know, like fucking, hey, look, the world is corporate. I don't care who your favorite fucking company is. Guess what? There's always going to be a person up there that's going to be the guy wearing this shit and be like, yeah, fucking cut it. Yeah. Cut him. Totally. It goes for everybody. And the thing is, it's taking that, take their snake shake, take that negativity and make it into fuel. Um, and that was the whole idea. I, I hear that's like the naysayers, like, the naysayers, no, you can't, no, you can't, no, nope, no, nope, no. nope. And I've heard that shit all my life too. And I'm like, oh yeah, fuck you. Right. All my life. All my Same, life. Yeah. But you learned, but that's what made you who you are. And that's why you're here. Because and that's you why, that. but that's you too. Yeah, totally. Well, that's, that's exactly why. But that's why skateboarders. I, skateboarders <laughs> in general, yeah. right. I mean, straight up. So I had all these ideas and images that I've, I've mixed with my friends. We collaborated and we had this thing going on, but we didn't know, I didn't know what to call it. We'd go back and forth and it wasn't, and the, the cool thing was it wasn't, it wasn't uh, stressed. It wasn't like, we got to make a name. <laughs> oh, right. oh, what, what do you and think of this guy's a... uh, killer instinct? Uh, well, you know, and it was yeah, nothing yeah, like that. It yeah, wasn't yeah. fucking any bullshit whatsoever. It was, this is what it is. This is what it means. I just don't know what to call it. So I remember one night I was coming back from LA, driving back to meet up with the boys to skate and sack, hang out. I'm driving and, and again, this thing in my head, it, my mission to Sacramento wasn't to be like, we gotta figure this out. It was going back on my regular drive or whatever to just hang out with my friends. But this thing was always in my head, constantly, everything. Driving, fuck, I'm tired. Turning on the radio, what the fuck? Falling asleep, rolling the windows down, and finally tune it in. Perfect timing. <laughs> these and these, you know, and you and these doomsayers, they try to tell you what you can and can't do. They try to claim the end of the world. They try to stop you from doing what you want, and it's up to you to do <laughs> what you want. And you take that. And you take that and you fuel your goals. You fuel your dreams. And I was like, yeah, brother. That's fucking right. This motherfucker's got exactly what I'm talking about. It's fucking doomsayers. Doomsayers is what it is. That's what's fucking constantly bringing me down but pushing me up at the same time. Yeah. Because I learned to take that fucking shit. Tell me. And it was that guy on the radio. And it's, he said exactly that. And I'll never forget. These doomsayers. And you came back and you're like, I got it, motherfucker. I said, I got it. Doomsayers. That's it. That's it. That's what it is. And I went home and I just went and wrote that and it was Did you did that. you and did you draw it, it too? Did yeah, you everything. We just redid everything and then Sick. and then um you know went back and forth, I handed it to a friend to kind of clean it up and then we'd yeah. be like, Yeah, that's it. The way the way I look at him, Andrew, which is super cool, is you got you have a crew of dudes. It's it's reminiscent of, you know, what I can equate it to is like anti hero. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You have fucking ripping skaters who are just down for this thing. You guys live it, and that's what it is. And that, to me, is what fucking is cool about it. And that's right. what skateboarding is. It's a fucking brotherhood. Yeah, totally. You know? And that was the thing that I wanted to, to invite into this idea was, you know, I, I want people, I don't want it to just be a thing. I want it to be a club. I want it to be a membership of, again, brotherhood. Um, how can I help certain people that I like like this is yeah. this is what I like exactly, and that's one thing that I learned too that you guys do too. You see something you like, you put in, you put on the right light, you put the right light on these people so that they can grow from it and be something. Only Omar Salazar. Yeah, but <laughs> and that's it. Let's just wrap it up. Holy Thank shit! You. It's over. Yeah, over. dude. Oh, bullshit. Well, sort of. All right. It's all over. Right. Just well, hey, I'm sorry if I talk too much. No, dude. no, no, no. You got no, me all I'm excited. Thanks. Thank you.
you guys. Omar Salazar. Uh, Omar Salazar. TG, BS, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. You're the best. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I feel like we should keep going. I feel like I can talk to you forever. We